much. First off, everybody, thanks for being patient this evening. Um, I really appreciate that. And I want to thank every single Iowan who voted today and in early voting too and made your voices heard at the ballot box. We've been talking about that from day one. Your voice, your vote is your voice, and that's so important. And so thank you for coming out to vote. I want to thank all the Iowans who volunteered, who text, who phone bank, folks that chipped in a few bucks. Um, you really are what made this campaign a strong grassroots campaign, so thank you for that. I want to thank my staff. Let's hear from you again. <laughs> I, <laughs> you are incredible. You really are, and I hope you are all proud of what we accomplished. I know I certainly am. I want to thank my brothers and sisters in organized labor. You all built the middle class, and you were there for me when I needed it most. You've always had my back, and I always have yours. I want to thank my husband, Steve. He's been putting up with me for over 28 years. <laughs> Our children, <laughs> the whole family, especially my dear twin sister, Maria. She has been my super volunteer. Where are you, Maria? <laughs> There should be a law about twins. <laughs> you know, growing up a scrappy farm kid, someone who came out of that farm crisis, I never thought I'd run for office. I really didn't. Not then, and not when I was a young widow. Not even when I was running small businesses did I think I would be running for office. But I got in this race for hardworking families to be a voice for all Iowans, and that's still true today. Too many Iowans are falling behind. And while the votes have been counted and our run has fallen short, I want you to know that just moments ago I did call Senator Ernst and I congratulated her on being elected to a second term. We always knew this race was going to be one of the closest in the country. We knew it was going to be a Donnybrook, and it was. And I wanted to make sure to congratulate her on her hard-won race. You know, to be honest, I'll always carry the fight for hardworking families in my heart. I want you to know that. But this was never really about me or just one person. This was about standing up and fighting for what you believe in and following your dreams, and I followed it. And despite the tough times we're facing and the results tonight, I am still hopeful. You know, I was in this race for over 500 days, 518, actually. We held over 400 campaign events. I spoke to countless Iowans. I got to hold baby goats. <laughs> and more than anything else, everywhere I went, Iowans told me they wanted the divisiveness to end. And I worked hard to do that. I want Washington to come together like we do in our hometowns. And I hope tonight we do come together and we heal our divisions and we solve our big problems and we move forward as a country. I will always be grateful and inspired by my volunteers, especially the young folks. My gosh, you wouldn't believe how hard they work. They are our future. I'm always inspired by the folks who stepped up from off the sidelines, who'd never been involved in a campaign before. Thank you. And I thank everyone across the state for voting, speaking up, and fighting for what you believe in. I can't thank everyone who has helped out this campaign. I want you to know I'm grateful. Again, I want to thank my family for all their love and support. I want to thank my staff and my team. You guys are the bomb. I was running to do a job because that's what I learned on the farm. There's no boy jobs and there's no girl jobs, just jobs that need to get done. And the job we have to do now is come together as a country and as a state. Teresa Greenfield. 